Hey guys, so today I'm back with another episode of What I Eat in a Week. Kicking it off with Monday, I decided to make my go-to granola cereal. I just mixed some oats, almonds, and ground flax seeds together. And then I made up a spiced maple syrup mixture. And once that was all smooth, I added it to the bowl with the oats. And this is gonna sweeten it up and, you know, give the granola a nice flavor. I took a lined baking sheet and spread that out evenly. And I baked this for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. After that, I took it out, added some raisins and unsweetened coconut flakes to the tray, mixed that all in, and then I popped it back into the oven for another 10 minutes until my granola was toasted and crisp like this. Now, while I waited for my granola to cool down some, I made a cup of hot lemon water. I told you guys before that I like my water with either lemon juice or apple cider vinegar in it because of the health benefits and for the taste as well. And regularly, I drink it cold or room temperature, but on this day, I wanted to try it hot because sometimes you just want a hot drink so that's what i did but yeah after i had that i went ahead and made my bowl of cereal i added sliced banana and some raspberries to the granola and also a sprinkling of chia seeds poured on some almond milk came out perfect and i love making my own cereal like this to me it's so much better than the ready-made store-bought stuff i put the remaining granola in a container like this and i just store it in the fridge so i can have it for another time once lunchtime rolled around, I went ahead and made chickpea salad. First, I took some cooked chickpeas and broke them up in my food processor. And then the rest is really easy. You just add vegan mayo, onion. I usually add celery to this too, but on this day, I didn't have any in the house, but it still came out fine. Um, I seasoned it up, gave it a mix, and that's basically it. To accompany that, I really wanted some chips, so I grabbed some potatoes and whipped up a homemade batch of potato chips, and all you have to do is slice them thin so they look like this. I spread them out on a clean kitchen towel and blotted away the moisture. Throw them into a bowl, add a little oil and whatever seasonings you want. I gave them a toss and then laid them flat on a baking sheet. And you just wanna bake these until they're crispy. I think I put these on 400 degrees if memory serves me correctly. Then I took a piece of toasted wheat bread, spread on a little vegan mayo, added tomato and lettuce, and then I piled on the chickpea salad. And this was my lunch. It was super good. The sandwich, the chips went so well. I also made another cup of lemon water, but this time I just had it room temperature. And then for dinner, I made a veggie stir fry over cauliflower rice. First, I threw some fresh cauliflower in my food processor and pulsed until it kind of resembled actual rice. And then I added minced garlic and water to a skillet along with the cauliflower. Gave it a mix and then I covered it for a few minutes so it would steam and get tender. Add a few seasonings and that is that. For the veggies, I used this sugar snap pea stir fry mix. I put some of that into a skillet with water. I covered and let that steam as well. And then y'all know how much I love this sauce right here. It's my favorite. And um, so I poured some of that onto the vegetables and mixed it in really good. And I'm done. This took me literally less than 15 minutes to make. Such a quick and easy meal. I finished it off with a sprinkling of sesame seeds and it was very tasty. A little later on, I just had some cherries for a snacky snack. Tuesday, I started the morning off with a chocolatey peanut butter banana protein shake. I found myself making this a heck of a lot these days, especially when I'm craving a chocolate fix. And then along with my shake, I had some pretzels with mustard. And I know this might be a little weird, especially for breakfast, but hey, you guys, this is real life and this is what I had. 
lunchtime I made some tacos and I was really <laughs> excited for these so I took some pinto beans and pureed them with some vegetable broth in my blender and that's what I'm spreading on here next I added black beans which I had coated with taco seasoning I piled on some lettuce blend a little salsa avocado and then homemade dressing I just threw together and these came out so ridiculously yummy you guys I pretty much inhaled all three now when dinner time rolled around, I decided to make spaghetti and meatless meatballs. First I boiled my noodles and then for my meatballs, I actually made these a few days prior. It's basically a mixture of black beans, lentils, onions, and spices. And I like to make a big batch of these and keep them in the freezer so I always have some ready to use. So on this day, all I had to do was add a little oil to a skillet toss the black bean and lentil balls in and cook until browned and warm throughout. Only takes about five to seven minutes for this. Once my noodles were cooked, I added in pasta sauce and a few seasonings to get it, you know, tasting to my liking. Then I put the balls in and mixed it all together so they were all coated. And I had my spaghetti with a piece of garlic bread. It was lovely. Later, I had some kale chips, which I had prepared earlier in the day actually, and set aside for my nighttime snack. All I did for that is toss fresh kale with olive oil and spices and baked until crispy. And I love kale in general, but I really like it like this, especially when I'm wanting something crunchy to snack on. And when I was ready to eat, I sprinkled on some nutritional yeast on top gives it such a nice flavor. Wednesday's breakfast was very easy. I just had a bowl of my granola cereal. Again, I went with a sliced banana and raspberry as a topping. For my drink for the day, I filled up my trusty jug of water and added a splash of apple cider vinegar. Midday, I pulled out two large potatoes to make some fries. I gave them a really good wash beforehand and then I sliced them into wedges, tossed with olive oil and seasonings, laid them out on a single layer and baked at 400 degrees until they were all done. And while my fries were in the oven, I went ahead and made my two dipping bowls. For the first one, I just mixed together vegan mayonnaise and hot sauce. Then I took some avocado and made a really simple guacamole. And I served both of those with my fries. I like having the cool avocado and the spicy mayo options together. This is like my all time favorite pairing for potato wedges. Love it so much. And then for dinner, I made some zucchini cakes. And to do that, I just put sliced zucchini into my food processor and pulsed until it looked like this. I added in some riced cauliflower. This is the stuff I had left over from what I made on Monday, as well as mustard, seasonings, and flour. Then you just mix it all up, shape it into patties with your hands, and I'm going to bake these. Now along with the zucchini cakes, I also threw in some carrots on the baking sheet so they can cook together. And while those were in the oven, I whipped up some kale. I sauteed these in water and added random spices to season. And voila, this is how my dinner turned out. Colorful, fresh, tasty, all that. And then a couple hours later, I had some cherries for a snack. Which brings us to Thursday. So I got my pancake mix and added almond milk to make a batter. Poured that right into my waffle maker. And with my waffle, I had the rest of the saute kale I had made the night before. Now, I don't know of anyone else that likes to eat greens with their breakfast, but I love it, especially with waffles. Um, I also made some lemon water to wash it all down. For lunch, I made a salad. I started by dicing up a tomato. I also sliced some olives in half and I put those on top of some bagged salad mix I had. Added avocado and sliced almonds. For my dressing, I used a homemade vinaigrette I just threw together really quick and it was super delicious and filling. Last meal of that day, I had a sandwich, and for that I used the chickpea salad that I made a few days before. On the side, I just had some raisins. Nothing really fancy here, super simple. 
And later on, I had a batch of soft baked ginger snap cookies. I had been wanting to make these all week and I finally got around to actually doing it. And this was my first time making them too and they came out pretty good. I just used a tad bit too much baking soda. So the next time I make them, I know to go a little easier on the baking soda, but they were, they were good overall. And we're back at it with the granola cereal. I'm telling y'all, this comes in handy, especially on days where you need something quick or you don't feel like doing a bunch of cooking in the morning. It is clutch. For my lunch, I'm pretty much having a veggie plate along with these chickpea quiche muffins that I had in the freezer. And lately I've really been into cooking things like these in bulk and freezing for later because it just makes life so much easier. And I have some carrots that I tossed with olive oil and spices that I'm going to roast as well. So that was rounded all off with sauteed kale and mashed potatoes and the frozen chickpea quiches came out perfectly. By the way, I showed the recipe in a previous video. So if you want the step-by-step -step on how I make these, I will link that video below. Dinner was leftovers from Tuesday, the spaghetti, black bean and lentil balls and garlic bread. All I had to do was warm it up. Saturday's breakfast was avocado toast. I just spread mashed avocado onto some wheat bread topped with sliced tomato, a squeeze of lemon juice for a nice tangy touch, salt and pepper and red pepper flakes, and I also made a jug of lemon water for the day. Lunchtime, I whipped up another one of my chocolate peanut butter banana shakes because I was really just in the mood for something sweet. And then to balance it out, I made a salad again with homemade dressing. For my dressing, y'all, I literally just throw ingredients I have together and it usually works. So I think I might stop buying conventional salad dressing and just keep making my own because this was extremely good. And then for dinner, I made a crispy cauliflower dish. First, I took cauliflower florets and tossed them with a simple batter. I used just flour, salt, and water for this. Then I put those onto a baking sheet and baked until brown and crisp. Next, I took this sauce here and I poured that over the cauliflower pieces and I gave that a good mix over low heat because I wanted the sauce to kind of cook into the cauliflower, if that makes sense. So that's why I did that in a skillet. I put that over rice and added sesame seeds and parsley on top. And this was absolutely smashing. It was so freaking tasty and it definitely filled me up. And then later on, I polished off the rest of those ginger snap cookies I made um, the other day. And final day, Sunday, I figured I'd make some French toast. Of course, I started by making the wet mixture, pretty basic stuff here. Whisk it all together. I took my bread, dipped it so it was all coated put it into a hot skillet, cooked on both sides, y'all know how it goes. And to accompany my French toast, I made some breakfast potatoes. I first boiled these to soften them up and then I shallow fried them in a pan so they could brown. And then I added some seasoning, a little powdered sugar and syrup on my French toast and ketchup for my potatoes and breakfast is done. Next meal of the day, I had another of my shakes, but this time I switched it up a little bit by putting in some strawberries. Cause sometimes, you know, you just gotta add a twist, do something a little different. Along with my shake, I also had the remaining two zucchini cakes from the batch I made the other day. Once dinner time rolled around, I knew I wanted pasta, so that is what I had. I put some sun-dried tomatoes and minced garlic in a pan, and I let that cook for a few minutes. Then I added this creamy cashew-based sauce that I just blended up. Next goes some Cajun seasoning, and yes, I am obsessed with Cajun seasoning, if you can't tell by now. I also put some parsley in too, and once that sauce started to thicken up, I added in my pasta and I mean just look at this it's heavenly <laughs> so with my Cajun pasta I had string beans on the side added a little more Cajun seasoning on top and it was not even funny how I scarfed this down very very good the last thing I had was some popcorn that I made on the stove and I added some nutritional yeast and salt to flavor it as I always do. But yeah, those were all of my vegan meals for an entire week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.